everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic, and we're back finally with a fresh review and something very exciting today. We're looking at our very first ever canceled toy from Mattel Jurassic World line. You can see here I have all of the Fallen Kingdom figures set up for part of this review because we're going to be looking at a canceled Fallen Kingdom figure. I have it right here in this uh, bubble wrap. It's very well protected because um, it's a pretty special piece. I was able to score it off eBay. A lot of collectors out there probably know um, what I'm talking about here. So we're going to go ahead and get it out on camera very carefully. Not going to unbox the whole thing today um, because, uh, you know, it's probably worth more in the box. But we'll, we'll definitely take a look um, at it out of all of this packaging because it is so cool. And of course, I'm talking about the canceled, let's go ahead and take out this bubble wrap, the canceled Franklin figure, Franklin and Triceratops, a figure that we've all been waiting on for so long. And here it is in the flesh, but it is a canceled figure. And I'll go into a little bit about what this figure is exactly. Um, it's obviously, it looks like it's ready to go on the shelf, right? Um, but it, 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 uh, never made it that far and we'll go into what that is about that but yeah here you can see it, I, it came in bubble wrap it came in this nice little plastic baggie so we'll go ahead and get it out and take a closer look at it um franklin of course was was one of the characters due to us we got all these other characters claire owen Z zia Maisie, uh, a bunch of mercenaries we got all kinds of characters for the fallen kingdom line and when we saw that franklin was coming out um that was exciting too because uh you know just one more character to get um as part of that second Jurassic World movie, but he never showed up, um, except here he is now um, in the flesh. So let's go ahead and carefully remove it out of this bag. And I'm going to handle this figure very carefully. I know a lot of people are probably saying I should be wearing gloves, but uh, you know, that's not really my style. So we'll just be really careful with the figure itself and um, slowly take it out of this bag and just uh, try not to, um, you know, drop it or anything like that. So there is Franklin on the card back. I'm gonna put this bag aside. Um, you can see that he's in the Dino Rivals packaging. He's got a Triceratops hatchling with him, which is notable because originally he was supposed to come with a Microceratops from sort of the, the images we saw come out of Mattel. There's also um, a bag that he comes with, like a messenger bag that's a unique sculpt, not a, um, you know, a bag reused from Owen or someone else. He also has a little uh, iPhone, a little cell phone, a tablet phone, and then, of course, the figure itself, which looks great. You know, when this thing first showed up on eBay, I was uncertain if it was a custom or just something, sort of a retool of an existing figure. But if you really get in there and look at the details of his face the glasses, the paint, the articulation. This is legit. This is the real deal. This is the real Owen figure um, in the Dino Rivals packaging, which is what it was due to come out in. Um, a couple other notable things are that the packaging has the new on the corner, uh, which we saw with some of the dinosaur figures, but I'm not sure we ever saw it with human figures, but maybe we did. Um, and other than that, the, you know, the multilingual Franklin and Triceratops, um, and, and I think it's in uh, French, the alternate with some of the other dangers, uh, warnings in alternate language. On the back of the card, we can go ahead and turn it around. We have a lost wave that we never got, which included some of the harder to find figures like Maisie and uh, Claire with the Stegosaurus. These figures came out, um, you know, as part of waves packed with Owen um, and, and quickly disappeared off the shelves, leaving Owen behind. But you can see that this wave would have had Franklin and these other couple hard to find figures along with another Owen, another dinosaur trainer Owen. But it did come with these other figures that were harder to find. And, and obviously Owen would have been part of that and probably pretty sought after, um, you know, since it was an all new human figure for the Mattel line. But going back to look at the figure up front, um, we can see that again, that Triceratops hatchling um, is an unpainted figure, um, not like the Triceratops figure that came with Zia that had the horns painted at least. Um, this figure in the packaging at least is unpainted. But that could be due to a couple reasons. Maybe the, the final one would have been painted, but it definitely was meant to come with the Triceratops versus the Microceratops. The bubble and everything is, is, is molded to house an actual Triceratops figure and nothing else. But yeah, that bag looks to be like it's basically just, um, you know, single plastic with some molded hinges but uh, nothing that opens or anything like that. It's literally just an accessory. The phone is interesting because it does have like a little, like almost like a, 
W or something on the top of it. It's hard to say. It has like a little symbol, like a crown or something. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. If that's something from the movie. Um, I don't remember his phone. I don't even remember him having a phone. I remember him having a tablet that he used to hack. But uh, it's kind of an interesting little accessory with the little touch button on the bottom. And then Franklin himself has his, you know, his hairstyle, his glasses. Got a nice blue striped shirt and a blue jacket. Sort of that sculpted jacket that we see, um, you know, in the Claire figures from the line where the plastic is actually a separate part of um, the figure that, that kind of adds a layer versus something that's sculpted on. Um, so I imagine if we were to get this Franklin figure out, we would see that that, um, that coat has a little bit of bendable plastic like Claire here. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put her back. And then you can see the paint on the... Uh, the shirt kind of extends below the articulated waist. So some nice little detail there, um, you know, and if you look at the side of the package, you can see his boots as well um, are painted under his pants. So sort of accurate to the movie of what his um, outfit was in the movie, just sort of in a, a toyified form. But let's talk about this figure itself. Uh, again, it's canceled, it's not coming out, um, but how does this, what I'm holding in my hand right now, even exist? Um, and that is because when, uh, you know, this is sort of just some knowledge put together from a couple different sources, but basically this figure was definitely meant to be produced. It was produced in some quantities in, in the factories, whether it was in China or Vietnam or a couple of other places that Mattel uh, manufactures their toys. Um, you know, they, they basically set up these lines, these factory lines to um, produce these figures and they end up actually producing quite a number of them. I mean, anywhere from a thousand to several thousand before they kind of say, okay, this figure looks good. It's ready to go. Let's do a final production run um, and start producing them to be manufactured, to be distributed to stores, all that good stuff. So in this case, it looks like Franklin at least got to the point where they were making test sample figures. Um, maybe that's why the, the Triceratops horns weren't painted. Um, maybe there was a couple other things that maybe this this version of the figure they were trying to tweak and work out. But usually those production samples just get thrown away they just get destroyed they don't get um you know packaged up or sold or or anything but as you know um things find a way out of the factory sometimes things sneak out and obviously in this case this version of the figure did sneak out and someone was able to put it up on a uh, auction site ebay in this case now is this the only one in the world no there's more than likely at least one more if not several more there could be hundreds more at this point it's too early to tell because this figure literally just showed up this year um sort of online so who knows uh you know right now it, it's the only figure that we know of but there could be more figures um coming out um there could be more <laughs> copies of Franklin. And as far as the Franklin figure itself goes, everyone's saying, oh man, this has been such an awesome figure to get. Um, it's a bummer we didn't get it. My guess is that this Franklin figure will come out in some other fashion. Will it come out in this packaging? No, unlikely. But with Dominion around the corner, with uh, Franklin in the movie again, as we know from Justice Smith being cast in Dominion, um, I bet this figure will come out in some other uh, set or um, even a single carded release with different accessories, different packaging for Dominion. I mean, we just know Mattel doesn't waste um, anything. You have, you have the Comic-Con exclusives like Malcolm and Nedry, uh, and, I, and I, you know, they are making use of those. They released Nedry again in a legacy pack. We know um, Ned they released Hammond in a legacy pack. We know Nedry's getting a re-release in a legacy pack. So I'm guessing Franklin will see the light of day eventually in just a, um, a different release format. So don't be too bummed out that this uh, figure that I'm holding in my hand itself is canceled because I think in some way it will eventually see the light of day. Um, but without opening this thing up, which I, again, I will not do, there really isn't a whole lot more we can say about this figure. Obviously, this video, I hope you got some good close-up looks at it, as well as a little bit of explainer as to why it even exists. Um, but that's really all I got for today, uh, talking about Franklin. Again, very excited to share this with the channel. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed getting a look at this sort of forgotten toy in the Mattel Jurassic World line. But until next time, I'm Tim with Collect Jurassic, and thanks for watching.